We've got a nice serving of uh, BT's vault, and that's <laughs> starting to get some real global traction, Bristol. It's 1991, not, it's, JB. It's now not just a local thing. It's now, its tentacles have got into, you know, I know Shane Kelly, our man in Dublin's already starting to podcast <laughs> it and spread it around <laughs> up there. It's, it's into Europe. What, it's into Northern America. I'm Th- thinking of legal issues. That's what I'm thinking of. Th- these, in- these interviews have gone gangbusters. So I'll just give you, before I introduce the big team, just give you a little sample of what we've heard so far and what you might hear in about well, half an hour's time. Okay, um, five seconds, Nadia, come an inch. Sorry, Nadia? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Nadia, come an inch. <laughs> I'm just going to ask George, um, since he... Yeah, George, you're back. You're listening to Brian Taylor. Anytime you're ready. Sensational. Good stuff. Mm. 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 George uh, there's going to answer the phone again. He's obviously is a very good secretary as well. Hope he gets paid well for that. Got a nice warm coffee here anyway to keep us going. Okay, thanks for that. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Warm coffee here to keep me going. Come an inch. Uh, <laughs> Nadia, come an inch. Nah, she could go through a stage where she was coming inch. Come an inch. So that's about half an hour away. And you, a nice new serving of the vault for you to find enjoy. those tapes. Uh, oh, well. Welcome to you, Duck. Yes, uh, g'day, gentlemen. A good game last oh, night. Ripping uh, game thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, mm. Hey, can uh, talking about Brian? Can I go yeah. with something? Uh, well, this, before uh, we do, just quickly, hello to you, Duck. Hello, Jim. Uh, yep, uh, 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 be careful, Duck. I've got, I've got a bri- I've, uh, I've got sweet, a personal sledging has been on the agenda. Hey, remember, remember, don't punch down, always punch up, BT, and I consider you to be up. Um, but a, a really interesting situation last night, obviously the unveiling of the new stand down yes. there at Geelong. By the way, magnificent stadium, well done. Good. Well done, the Cats, and boy, did they yep. turn it on for their fans. They were absolutely game, but uh, I'll tell you who didn't quite bring his A-grade right. game, and it was our man, oh, no. Bristol, right here. The who, so we all sort of, uh, you know, we got a, uh, an email saying aware that uh, there's going to be some really big hitters come into the uh, Channel 7 commentary box at some point Dignitaries. and have a little uh, have a little bit of a chat so just make sure you're on your best behavior so <laughs> anyway we're sitting around you know Lingy and uh, Hamish McLaughlin and you know a few of the other your producers Jolie yes. and and uh, Ricky Lyon and these guys oh, we're sitting around and we're just Bruce. sort of having a bit of a chat Bruce and anyway before you know it you see all the uh, all the advisors and everyone that there's the honorable uh, the Premier Daniel Andrews, oh, there's Lisa Neville, Colin oh. Carter, obviously Gil McLaughlin, and obviously Brian Cook there yep. to talk about the stadium and everything else. Nice heavy. Uh, who's who? So, a bit of a background. So, sort the, of, the uh, who's who? So, uh, <laughs> Daniel Andrews uh, walks over to uh, BT and just sort of puts his hand out. And uh, anyway, BT sort of just sort of looking around and he, he says to BT, are you going to leave me hanging? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Bristol! I didn't so know he had his hand so out. He, Did he, you know who it was? He left yes. his uh, okay. he left him hanging there for oh, about five come seconds. On, Bristol. Eventually, he gets the handshake. But this is yeah. where it got really, really interesting. So I'd obviously never met any of these yes. people other than uh, Gill and Brian Cook before. So they come over. I'm quite fascinated. Lingy standing around, talking, 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 <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and talking. And there's and there's Hamish, and he's having a little bit of a chat. And I sort of we sort of look through and. And there's, we're standing in a semicircle near the uh, near the desk where we uh, where we do our stuff from, and I look into the background. Now there's no change rooms or anything there, but I would have thought this is a really unusual time to start to get undressed. <laughs> oh, I look, I look BT. through. There's BT with his strides around his ankles, <laughs> leopard skin underneath. Oh, oh, no, no, no shirt, oh, no. no shirt oh, at all, no, <laughs> no, no coverage. No. I'm, I'm just going. So you got all the advice. This, this room is absolutely packed. Hamish has seen I've BT as he's, well. I've done them. He's our, a creature of habit, our, isn't he? he our eyes, done it. our eyes have just gone now. Oh. We've just got to make sure that we keep these people entertained. We got. Oh, well, what about the stadium over here just until BT got his pants up? Oh, no. Could not believe that a guy could get changed with that sort of people in a room yep. at that particular time. Oh, I had a 5.30 appointment, which um, was two minutes away, Duck. It was unbelievable. We had unbelievable. a... Years ago, uh, Duck, well, it would have to be 10-plus years ago, we had a photo shoot, Triple M footy, where we all had stupidly had to be body painted in this sort of camouflage colours. <laughs> anyway, it was back in Dermot's day, and BT and myself, obviously, I think Gaz was there, Sam Newman. Anyway, we're all feeling how stupid this going to be. <laughs> As we're standing there, Bristol's getting the body paint put to him. <laughs> Sam turns around and says, Brian, your belly button looks like the entrance to the Burnley Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, uh, it was. I uh, yeah. Anyway, wow. we we were just in shock. And yeah, you can it, imagine Hamish uh, Hamish McLaughlin. Wow, we boy boy. <laughs> did he? Uh, he was sort of, wow. You know, Gil. Because Gil uh, Gil didn't look too interested. He didn't. Uh, uh, he wasn't too TV interested. TV studio is yeah, yeah, not yeah. his game. No. no, no. He was just rolling around, looking out the window. Yeah. Saying, yeah, He's well. more interested in being on the other side of the camera. <laughs> yeah. And BT, the source of or your hair is always a source of amusement. Yeah, listen, of us, no, you, you've had a you've had a little <laughs> change Jamie, between. I just want to stop you there. <laughs> when I saw you last, <laughs> your night. Your fascination with my hair. <laughs> it's, it, hang on. Is becoming creepy <laughs> now. No, your hair's creepy. Personally, your hair I is think creepy. It's in your best interest to stay away from my hair, which I'm feeling really creeped up about you, uh, right? Staggering into last my hair, and that my hair is of such interest to you. Last night it was uh, a golden one. There's a golden tinge to it, and today it's just the resumed well, guess what, as Damon? grey. I'll just give you something. <laughs> Why was it golden? I, well, because I've had a haircut today, right? And my hair is golden. <laughs> it's not today, Brian. That's because I've had a haircut. Cut the ends off it. It intrigues me and it intrigues others. And it's very oh, different to this morning no. uh, Damon, to what it was last seriously, night. Seriously, it's creepy, mate. I like it. Your hair is. You're quite right. It's creepy. <laughs> and I'm worried about you. And, uh, you know, you've got sort of Rolf Harris sort of... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Glasses. Oh, come on. <laughs>